I'm going to start the deer field segment now. I've got my bike uh, locked to a tree up the hill here and uh enters into a nice pine forest here. We're just off County Road O. You can probably hear some of the traffic out there. This is a relatively short segment. It's only about three miles long. Uh, and then there's a little bit of a road walk on the other end of it. I finished the 14.6 mile road walk uh, from Emmons Creek here last time out that was a kind of a tough hike but uh, this trail has uh, some things to see on it and uh, in the meantime it's a beautiful hike there's uh, the almond moraine and then uh, one thing i'm kind of excited about is a little later down the trail here is an old uh, stagecoach trail that was used between Watoma and uh, Plainfield back in the horse and buggy days. So we'll see if we can find that. I've got the GPS coordinates for it. I got that off the Ice Age Trail Alliance website. And uh, I've got my phone which has uh, GPS on it. So we'll see how that matches up. Well, that's kind of a bummer. I forgot my walking stick back at the bike. I've only gone about a quarter mile, so not a big deal. Oh yeah, there it is. I had it kind of behind that tree so it wouldn't be in the shot from the road. Sure enough, I walked right by it. kind of debated whether I even wanted to bring the walking stick because it's, uh, it's a nice walking stick but you know, I've got the camera in one hand and uh, it's not real treacherous terrain so if I don't need it I probably shouldn't have brought it with but we'll see maybe I'll get some good use out of it. Good spot for a bench back into a pine plantation, red pine and a lot of white pine coming up with it. Kind of a cloudy day today. Well, not kind of, it is cloudy. A little windy too, it was a little tough on the bike, 20 mile an hour headwinds uh, kind of makes the bike shuttle a little tougher. One thing that's kind of interesting about uh, central Wisconsin here is you drive uh, for miles uh, through fields and farming areas and agriculture and, and then all of a sudden you come across some forested land and it's just like a different world in here. It's very nice. A lot of cranberry farms up this way too. Big uh, shallow ponds that they Grow the cranberries in. I guess Wisconsin's uh, probably one of the top, if not the top, producer of cranberries in the United States. Kind of an open meadow area here. It's, uh, I think this is private land, and they've got all kinds of birdhouses up, blue birdhouses. So imagine it's. Uh, a lot of good bird watching in here in the next few months of the summer. This scrub oak here, uh, maybe it's the makings of an oak savanna. There's a big rock sticking out over there. Cool, we got some hurdles on the trail. 
been a little windy, maybe that's why it fell over. Easy step over, that's for sure. Okay, so here we are at uh, 12th Avenue. Like the trail turns here, goes right, and goes back in just down there. And right up a hill. Alright, I checked my notes, and the reason this is a steep hill is because this is the Almond Moraine here. So we'll see what it looks like once we get up on the top, whether we just go over it or walk along it or, or what. And as you know, the, a moraine is the kind of end point of the glacier's movement. And then it just backed off from there. It's all the stuff that it pushed like a bulldozer to make this big hill. With the short grass this time of year, this is like a walk in the park. It's uh, really pleasant. Sun's starting to come through the clouds a little bit too. Makes it a little more cheerful day. It's like we're heading down off the rain now. Oh look, this segment even has an emergency shelter. Nice. There are so many of these side paths. I was wondering if I've already passed up where that stagecoach trail is. I should be getting close. Here's another deer stand. A little while back I thought I could smell deer because the wind's coming pretty strong and they do have a scent. Haven't seen any though. Kind of in an open area again here. I don't know if the wind is a problem with the sound, but uh, I was noticing way off in the distance here, there's pines and then after that, looks like new growth of aspen coming up behind it, a little lighter green. It's kind of interesting, huh? A little wind today, but other than that, it's a pretty day. Well, according to gut hooks, I should be right about where that uh, stagecoach trail is. I don't know if this is it or what. I couldn't get my GPS to work, so I'm just going by what gut hook said. So it's pretty close in this area. I thought maybe it was marked. I thought I saw that on somebody else's video from a couple years ago. But Apparently not, so anyways, we'll see, maybe it's still up ahead here. Well, I'm about a half a mile past where Guthook says the stagecoach trail is, but here it is, right down there, and this way, imagine the Horses and a stagecoach coming up that hill. Probably looked a lot different here. Maybe not as many trees or maybe some bigger trees. I'm glad I found it anyways. Looks like we're going to drop down into a valley here. And then maybe back up a hill on the other side. That's probably lake segment down there. So according to the guidebook, uh, what we're coming to is uh, a tunnel channel that was formed by glacial runoff. That's why we've got a, a steep grade going down into it. Well, here's an intersection. Got the loop trail going up the hill that way. I don't think I'll be taking that today, but that might be fun. And here's the, it says pond spur. 
it's a spur trail to the kettle. Oh man, I don't know if that's the kettle right there. Uh, or a little further. I'm just going to keep on the trail here. We're going to climb back out of that uh, tunnel channel. So I'm doing a little huffing and puffing, but here's where that uh, loop trail comes out. I'm sure that's a nice walk in the woods too, up on the high ground. And uh, so we got a little shelter here, some sort. Deerfield segment, trailhead parking, quarter mile. That's the end of the Deerfield segment, so thanks for coming along. Hope you enjoyed the hike. Bye now.